Hi everybody, welcome to today's episode of Time to Draw with Mr. Shaw. Uh, today we're going to draw one of my favorite book characters of all time. Uh, not actually from a chapter book or a book you read, um, but from a series of picture books called Where's Waldo? Uh, maybe you're familiar with the series, um, but they're basically just giant, complicated picture books with hundreds and hundreds of characters. And then a little stripy shirt man named Waldo with a pair of glasses and a famous little hat. Um, so we're going to learn how to draw him today, and then I'm going to challenge you with a really fun game you might be able to play in your house while you're trapped at home for this quarantine. So we're going to start out by drawing Waldo, by drawing the shape of his face. And Waldo has kind of a rhombus, or not, well, yeah, I guess a rhombus-shaped face. Um, so two parts of his face are two diagonal lines, kind of like this, coming down to a pretty square ended chin kind of like that now if i were to give that another parallel line up here on the top this would be a rhombus um, but i'm not actually going to draw that top line i'm just going to draw waldo's the sides of his head and then that straight line for his chin now near the top of these two lines inside i'm going to draw waldo's very famous glasses i'm going to draw two nice thick circles i'm going to connect them with a line and then i'm going to put two little dots inside for waldo's eyes after that, I'm going to move up just a little bit, and I'm going to draw Waldo's hair. Waldo has kind of wavy hair that sticks out from his hat. And it's just kind of a pattern of these wavy lines that end in little points. I think there's uh, four or five of those up there. And then a little piece of hair down here. I'm just going to color that in. And then on this side, he has little triangles of hair kind of peeking out from under his hat. Now his hat is the next thing we're going to draw. So we have his face shape, we have his hair. And I'm going to draw a diagonal rectangle, a uh, rectangle kind of going up and off to the side like this for the rim of his little winter hat. And I'm going to draw a triangle shape on top of that with a little circle on top. Waldo wears like a little winter cap. Uh, you could call it a beanie maybe, uh, but it has a little puff on top of it. Then we're going to draw Waldo's ears, just two half ovals on the sides of his head here and here if you want to draw that little squiggle inside that looks kind of like a question mark you can go ahead and do that uh, and then waldo just has a curved line for his nose and another curved line for his smile he usually has two other curved lines to kind of show where his mouth tucks into his cheeks here and then a small line underneath to show us where his lip would be so here's Waldo's head, and those of you who know Waldo, uh, he should look, look pretty familiar by now. But now we're going to draw the rest of his body. So I'm going to draw two lines for his neck. <clears throat> and then before getting very detailed with the rest of his body, I'm going to very lightly kind of block in those shapes. So Waldo has kind of a thin rectangle-shaped body. This will be his body where he's wearing his stripy shirt. And then he has some long, skinny, rectangle-shaped legs. I'm going to go ahead and draw in the shape of those legs. I'm going to have one leg stepping forward. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. It's a little bit diagonal, coming up in this direction. And then I'm going to draw another rectangle going diagonally in the other direction, almost like I'm starting to draw a block letter A. Um, but this rectangle is going to be coming back this way. But I'm not going to draw the top of it because that leg would be behind this one. And then I'm going to end that with a straight line at the bottom. I'm going to do two curved lines here for Waldo's pocket to make it look like the pocket of his jeans. And then uh, I'm going to draw two oval shapes for his feet. Now I'm going to start out with ovals, but Waldo actually wears shoes with a little bit of a heel on them. So after I draw that oval, I'm going to repeat that line until about halfway down the foot. And then I'm going to just add a little square shape in the back to make it look like the heel of a dress shoe. Then I'll do the same thing back here. I'm just going to draw a little line in the front. I'm going to repeat that curve, but then give it a little bump for a heel in the back. And then I can go ahead and darken in those leg shapes, those leg lines. So I'm all done drawing the legs. And now I want to draw Waldo's upper body, his arms. Now, I want one arm to be swinging backwards. If you've ever noticed when you're walking, whichever leg is going forward, the arm on that same side will go in the opposite direction. So this is his left leg. So his left arm 
is going to be two rectangle shapes, first coming back and then coming down. And then when I darken that in, I'm just going to darken the outline of it. And I'm going to give it a little curve up here where the shoulder is. Now, if you have an eraser on your pencil, you can erase that body line. You can even erase the top of that second rectangle. And then I'm just going to have his hand peeking out here. I'm going to draw first that thick part of the hand where your fingers are with a little curve. And then I'm going to draw one, two, three, four little fingers peeking out just like that. And then I can darken the shape of Waldo's shirt because his other arm is actually going to be on the other side of his body. So it's going to be peeking out on this other side. So I'm going to draw just a rectangle shape kind of peeking out from the other side. I'm not going to be able to see his shoulder over there, just where his arm is sticking out. And then I'm going to draw his hand. Now, since that's his right hand, I would see his thumb and then his fingers. So I'm going to draw that thumb coming down first. And then I'll draw one finger and then just a little tiny bit of the rest of those fingers. Because when you look at your hand from this direction, you can see that first finger really well. You can see a little bit of the next finger, but then the other fingers are kind of blocked because they're being overlapped by these two fingers. Now, in the books, Waldo's typically holding a cane. I'm not sure if he needs it to walk or if it just helps him walk the long distances that he travels. So I'm gonna do a curved line up here at the top and then two straight lines coming down for the cane. Now, when I get to the leg, I'm actually gonna stop my lines. I'm gonna pretend to draw them and then continue them on the other side. That way, the cane will look like it's behind that leg. That's a trick called overlapping. Um, one other trick you can do when overlapping is you can add a little bit of shadow on the object that's in the back. I can do that with his cane here. I can also do that with his leg and his arm just a little bit. Now, one of the things Waldo was famous for and one of the things that makes him really easy to find in the books are those stripes on his shirt. So I'm gonna start with just his body and I'm gonna draw horizontal lines. That means lines that go side to side all the way down his chest. Then on his shirt, those lines are gonna be diagonal because on this part of his arm, it's kind of bent in this direction. So I want those lines to be bent as well. But then when his arm goes straight back down, I can have those stripes be horizontal again. That way it looks like his arm is actually bending. If all of those lines were going in the same direction, this part would look a little awkward. Now, since this arm is coming out diagonally, I can do his stripes as diagonal lines instead of horizontal side-to-side -side lines. Now, I have a really nice little drawing of Waldo. Now, here's the cool game I'd like you to try. Um, Waldo's hat is red here, white here, and red here. Um, and his shirt is also red and white striped. He wears a pair of blue jeans. Now, whether you color your Waldo or not, uh, doesn't matter if you do, one thing you can do maybe to occupy the time at home is cut your Waldo out uh, with a pair of scissors if you have them in your house and then hide him somewhere and then see if any member of your family can find where Waldo is hiding. Once they find Waldo, they can show him to you, say, I found him, but then your family member, whoever it is that found Waldo, gets to hide him next. It might take a couple of hours to find Waldo. It might take a couple of days. If the hiding spot is really, really good, you might even forget where Waldo is. And then you might be folding laundry one day, open your sock drawer, and bam, there's Waldo. And the game gets to start all over again. So if you finish drawing your Waldo, and if you're a Henry Johnson Charter School scholar, send me a picture of that on Class Dojo. If you have suggestions for any other drawing lessons, please comment below. What I'd really like to see, though, is if you do color and cut out your Waldo and hide him someplace, take a picture of that hiding spot and send it to me. I'd like to see if anyone out there is playing a Where's Waldo game that might last over the next couple of days or even a couple of weeks. As always, have fun out there, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you next time.